number three is CU 2019-01, Daniel Bayman. Mr. Mapp. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, this is a conditional use permit request uh, by Daniel Bayman for a small motel facility in CD zoning. Subject property is located at 118 North Patterson Street. Can you speak into the mic? Sorry. I might help if I move the mic as well, Commissioner Hall. Thank you. Um, this property is located at the southwest corner of North Patterson Street and Benny's Alley. Um, it is directly across the alley from a request that we heard last year that was very similar. Um, that was by Mr. and Mrs. Orenda, also for a small motel facility. Um, the difference there is the one last year was for three rooms. This is for one room. Um, the applicants have recently purchased the property. It is two-story. Um, they own and operate a fitness center on the first floor. There is no uh, proposed changes to the first floor nor the exterior. And they are simply proposing a minor interior remodel of the second floor. In your packet, you see the zoning patterns of the map. Aerial showing the downtown area. Um, this is from about 11 years ago. And then after that are the floor plans. Um, these are four sketches, I guess. First floor, no changes. You see the open room of the fitness center. On the second floor, this is what it looks like now. This used to hold a radio station and some offices. And it is the rear portion of this, about 308 sweet, uh, square feet worth, that they are proposing to convert to a motel room, which is the next page. And then the last page there in your packet is a zoom in of that area. Um, just like the former request uh, from last year, we are finding a consistent with conference of plan, our conditional use review criteria, and we're recommending approval subject to a few conditions, which are there in your packet um, on the first page. And these are similar to the ones last year. Um, first one is approval shall be granted in the name of the applicant for a motel facility in CD zoning for temporary lodging of transient guests for periods not to exceed seven days. Number two, the facility shall be limited to no more than two lodging rooms with a maximum total of no more than two adults per room, not including the children, and the use shall operate under its own business license. Number three, conditional use approval shall expire after one year from the day of approval if no request for a separate business license has been submitted by that date. We discussed this one at length at the work session. I'll be glad to answer any additional questions that you may have. Anyone have questions for staff? Thank you. I just have a quick question. As far as the printing purpose that you have on some of the chairs of the LDR, I can't hear you. Yes, on page four. Yeah, as far as your, your printed verbiage on supplemental standards, mm -hmm. uh, is that is that in-house 24-hour management? Uh, yes, someone could be there managing the facility 24 hours a day. This fitness center is open 24 hours a day. Okay, so there's a manager there 24 hours a day. Correct. Was that same verbiage part of the one we did last year? The one last year had the same standards, but you may recall they also uh, sought variances through several items. Um, that one last year, they lived there also, mm -hmm. so that was their management. But there were a few of these other items last year that they did not meet, such as the 300 square feet per room requirement. You might recall those were what they called European style rooms. Right. Right. Um, this one exceeds the 300, so there's no issue there. I, I'm just curious about uh, if that was an issue on 24 yeah. hours. I mean, if the fitness center were not open 24 hours a day and no one was there, We'd be looking at a variance request for them also. Thank you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? If not, we'll enter into a public hearing. Is there anyone here who would like to speak in favor of this application tonight? Please come forward. As a reminder, sir, if you will please come forward. Uh, state your name and your address for us, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Dan I live at that 318 Shelton Road, but also go to 316 336. Okay, go ahead. All right, so um, I'm the owner of the firm, but also um, so the property in downstairs. Um, so it's a health and fitness property, and with the second floor originally, or it was part of the gym, it also had two offices for the Scott James radio station. Um, so like Matt said, I'm, I'm looking to remodel the back portion to a small Airbnb. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to remodel this, just so I'm completely honest with everyone here, is I live in a nine room and I just work a house. I don't have a guest bedroom. So when my in-laws come, it gets a little crowded. Um, so having them have a space to stay above the gym whenever they do come, and they don't come more than seven days, if you want to do that, um, is 
uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to do that. Um, another reason I wanted to do it is I do a lot of golf training. Um, I'm certified with the Tiles Performance Institute. Um, and one way I'm going to utilize the Airbnb is with my golf training to get people to come in um, from, say, Hilton Head or, or St. Simon's that they're looking for my expertise with their golf game. And I can actually offer them that room for the night or over the weekend while they work with me. Um, but if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a statement to jump in. I'm just tickled that you put on public record that you got a place for your long stay beside you. <laughs> 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 so they came during Christmas, and um, all we had was a living horse show. So that's what they stayed during Christmas. Okay. And that was just, yeah, and you made sure to clarify they would not be here seven days. <laughs> 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 Any other questions for our presenter? Okay. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else who would like to speak on behalf of this request tonight? <laughs> Please state your name and address, sir. My name is Ron Raymond, 3923 Sweetwater Drive. Questions for the presenter? No? Thank you, sir. Okay. We have time for one more uh, presenter if anyone would like to speak on behalf of this request. If not, is there anyone here who wishes to speak against this request tonight? Anyone who wishes to speak against this request, come mm -hmm. forward, please. Okay. If not, I'll turn it over to the commissioners for any discussion. No? I will entertain a vote. Madam Chairman. Yes. I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval of this request for conditional use for a small hotel lodging facility in downtown commercial zoning. And it has been found consistent with confidence and planning and the conditional use review criteria. All right, I have a motion. Right. Chair, I'll second that. All right, and we have a chair. Is there any other discussion on the motion before we vote? Madam Chairman, does that include the three conditions on that? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, if there is no other discussion, then I'll ask for all those in favor of the motion made by Commissioner Wiles, please raise your right hand. All those voting against, I thought we're unanimous. Carmela, thank you. 